students today we will discuss that how an ignition system of an SI engine works see what happens the ignition system for SI engine is for the purpose that we know that there are four strokes in an SI engine for a four stroke SI engine there are four strokes first is the suction in which charge is sucked inside second is the compression and when the compression ends a spark is introduced by the help of a spark plug so it ignites the charge and the ignition of charge further develops work done over the piston so next stroke is working stroke and then there is exhaust stroke by opening of exhaust valve like this so i am particularly talking about that how a spark is developed between the electrodes of the spark plug the spark plug contains an electrode two terminals so between two terminals spark is developed so particularly on time how a spark is developed for that i am going to talk see for development of a spark a step up transformer is used you know what is a trans transformer transformer is an electrical device which works on mutual induction and basic of uh, basis of mutual induction is what the faraday law of electromagnetic induction okay so it contains a primary coil and a secondary coil a transformer contains a primary and secondary coil so in a step up transformer the number of turns in primary coil is lesser than number of turns in secondary coil this we know okay so here a transformer is used the primary coil is connected to a battery the battery could be of 6 volt or 12 volt generally in, in street cars a 12 volt battery is used there is a key like this so this is the primary circuit and this is the secondary circuit the two terminals of secondary coil are connected to the two electrodes of spark plug it is like this now what happens in case i press this key k what will happen since this uh, primary circuit is now closed so when emf will start uh, current will start flowing through this primary coil it will develop magnetic field in the coil okay so magnetic field will develop from zero to maximum because initially when key was open there was no magnetic field now when key k is press uh, the uh, magnetic field is going to maximum so from zero to maximum the magnetic field will go so this magnetic field is in in connection is linked with secondary coil which contains larger number of turns so what will happen due to faraday law of electromagnetic induction we know this thing that it says that rate of change of magnetic flux linked to a coil with respect to time is what developed emf is so it will develop an emf in the secondary coil and which will develop a spark between the electrodes the number of turns in the primary and secondary coil are kept according to the requirement so that sufficient amount of voltage is developed between the uh, electrodes of the spark plug it is like this so once more that when key k is pressed the magnetic field will go from zero to maximum so this is what d5 change of magnetic field and it will take a short interval of time so d5 over dt is developed in secondary coil so it will develop a spark okay now in case key is kept closed then what will happen the magnetic field is rising from zero to maximum it will take a small duration time when it reaches the maximum value then no more spark will develop because rate of change of magnetic flux is responsible for development of current in secondary coil so once the uh, magnetic field goes from zero to maximum and becomes stagnant then no more spark will develop so only a pulse of a spark one spark will be developed with the electrode for very small amount of time and we know this thing that one spark is only needed for combustion therefore uh, it is sufficient means our purpose is solved that when key k is pressed one spark is developed and it is sufficient to burn the fuel now in case this key k is open what will happen now the magnetic field is start collapsing from maximum to zero because now prime in the primary circuit the key is open so in this case also a spark will develop the reason is that again see when magnetic field will go from maximum to zero it is also d5 and when it goes from zero to maximum it is also d5 so d5 over dt is still there however the polarity is reversed okay but spark development is irrespective of uh, the polarity between the electrodes okay either which is positive and which is negative okay so uh, a spark will also develop in case after pressing key k and then again open then also one spark will be developed okay now coming to the system that is called as contact breaker type ignition system what happens see on time we have to either close the key k 
when exactly spark is needed or on time we have to make it open when exactly spark is needed okay so the job of opening and closing of this key on time is done by a contact breaker switch you can see this is a sort of cam which rotates about this axis so it is like this that in case this flat peripheral surface is matching with the flat surface of switch then it is in closed uh, condition but when it rotates and this corner edge comes so it will raise the switch like this again when the flat a peripheral surface meet, meets with flat surface of the bottom of switch again it will make on so it is continuously rotating the rotation of this contact breaker switch is synchronized with the rotation of the crankshaft means its rotation is constant so that exactly on time either the uh, primary circuit is open for development of spark or closed because for both cases we know this thing that either we can close the switch for development of spark or we can open the switch for development of spark so what happens that exactly on time either it closes the circuit or opens the circuit like this now what happens that we can employ a capacitor in parallel to this primary coil now what is the benefit of this this is the you know what is a capacitor capacitor is that device which when connected to some battery or some dc source what happens that it starts accumulating electric charge with it okay so in case a capacitor is introduced in parallel to this primary circuit now what how it will benefit the development of a spark it could be understood by this way see suppose <coughs> there is a capacitor and there is a coil this coil is technically called as inductor coil whenever there is any coil is there then it it is also called as inductance or inductor coil okay so this is the capacitor two plates of capacitor and this is the inductor okay it is connected to a battery both are connected parallelly to the battery this is negative this is positive this is key k now when key k is pressed what will happen the capacitor will start charging by accumulation of charge in it as well as in the inductor the magnetic field start rising up both things will happen simultaneously this capacitor will start charging up and this inductor will start raising its magnetic field with it okay now what happens in case key k is open what will happen when key k is open now this battery is in disconnection with these two entities now capacitor is in direct interaction with this inductor what will happen that remember a discharging capacitor doesn't changes its polarity compared to the polarity is what charge see when it was charging then this plate is charging negative and this plate it is charging positive because the positive end is connected to this plate and negative end of battery is connected to this plate but when it is discharging still the polarity remains the same but what happens when the inductor was developing magnetic field the uh, polarity between the two ends was see since it is this end is connected to negative so negative was there and this end is connected to positive so positive is there when this inductor is discharging i mean when the field is collapsing then its polarity reverses a discharging induct inductor reverses its polarity compared to the polarity by which it is charged the reason is self induction and lenz law i am not going to uh, discuss right now about what is self and what, what is lenz law i think you might be knowing this thing so now what will happen we can see that the inductor has reversed its polarity compared to that of this capacitor so this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal and this is the negative plate of capacitor and this is the positive plate of capacitor so when negative positive will meet meet each other they will destroy each other fastly so what will happen the rate of collapsion of field in this inductor will be faster compared to that of no capacitor is used this can be understood by this example suppose there is a battery or chargeable lead accumulator lead acid battery is there it is charged fully and kept for months idle it will discharge automatically this we know that when a battery is kept idle it discharges but in case the same battery is connected to another battery by in series you can see negative is connected to the positive of another battery and positive of this battery is connected to the negative another battery what will happen in this case the discharge rate would be faster so same context is over here that when uh, this reverse polarities uh, would meet with each other then the 
destruction of this magnetic field will be faster compared to that of no capacitor is used so this is how higher amount of voltage will be developed uh, between the electrodes of a spark plug when the circuit is made off so actually the spark used in the engine is of that time when the circuit is open not when the circuit is closed because when circuit becomes open due to this capacitor even higher voltage is created between the electrodes so like this the combustion takes place it it could be understood like this when switch is made on suppose the voltage developed uh, in the secondary coil is 10000 volts but when it is made open due to the job of this capacitor the voltage will be 20000 it 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 is an example only so uh, since between the electrodes higher amount of voltage is favorable for development of spark so this is the reason that when this key k will open then it will develop the spark at the same time uh, one thing more is done by this capacitor that what happens that in case no capacitor is used then only this switch is there with this primary circuit in series battery switch and then uh, this primary coil and like this so these three things are in primary circuit in case no capacitor is used so what will happen when the key k is pressed when it becomes on then the current shoots up from zero to maximum i am talking about current okay earlier i was talking about the magnetic field but by now i am talking about current so this shooting of current from zero to maximum can develop a spark between these two contacts also you would have experienced this thing that when we are making a circuit close then at the point where it is closing a small amount of spark is developed so same thing since this key can be made open and close in an engine 200 times in a second it can be possible depends upon the rpm of engine so so many times when it contact will close and open then it will have tendency of development of spark between the contacts of this contact breaker also so what happens since capacitor charges up slowly it takes some time compared to that of in case no capacitor is there so the current development is smooth so it reduces the tendency of formation of sparks between the contacts of contact breaker switch so it increases the longevity the life of this contact breaker switch and one more thing keep in mind that however i am using the name transformer over here this is the transformer having primary coil and secondary coil but in ignition system this system this coil system is called as ignition coil not transformer however the principle is of transformer but the name of this system having primary and secondary coil is ignition coil thank you